Hi, my name is Paul. Welcome to the Learning Net. In this uh, series of videos, I'm just going to give you a very brief introduction into the IOS and the command line. Um, what is the IOS? Well, the IOS is the inter-networking operating system um, that Cisco use on all their devices, well, mainly their routers and their switches. And what does that really mean? Well, it means it is the operating system of those devices. Um, and in order for you guys to become competent network engineers, you really need to understand the IOS and the command line. So let's have a quick look at what the command line looks like. I'm on your screen at the moment. Um, I'm just going to log into this router. I'm actually using a program um, known as a terminal emulator um, software. And the one the software that I'm using is um, TerraTerm. Uh, and what TerraTerm allows me to do, um, because they're a router or, or a switch, they don't have keyboards and they don't have mice and they don't have monitors, um, it basically replaces that, it emulates that. Um, and I need to tell when I log into the router and I want to configure the router, I need to tell the router um, how I plan to configure it and where I'm going to configure it from. So I would typically type in the words configure terminal. And what that basically means is I'm going to configure this device from this terminal, from this piece of software. And basically you can see um, on the um, on the menu bar here it says, okay, we've got a little um, a little bit of um, gump saying um, how to find our website, etc., etc. And it says COM1 uh, VT. That COM1 means I'm connected to COM1 on my computer, my communications port, my serial port, um, and it is a virtual terminal. And this is how I now configure the device. I go configure terminal, and you'll now see that I've changed um, from this particular mode. And I'm going to going to go into these later on to this particular mode. I'm now in the configuration mode of my device. And if I want to have a look at all the commands that I can put in my device, I simply just push the question mark and it's going to show me all the configuration commands that I can have on this device. And this happens to be a router. Now I know at the moment um, a lot of Windows guys are looking at this and they're busy freaking out. They're going, oh man, this is ugly. This is text. You know, give me back my Windows. I've got those nice GUIs, those nice graphics. I can pick up my mouse. I can click on things and find my way around as I go. In fact, a lot of Windows engineers actually just stumble across... Uh, the path they need to take to fix a particular problem because every time you click on something another window opens and you can use your own troubleshooting thought processes your own logical thinking to try and fix a particular problem now when it comes to command line people freak out and go well I don't know what to type in here what are my options okay so in this video and the next video I'm going to show you how easy the command line is I want to show you that you, there is no need to be afraid of the command line in fact, I'm going to show you a very good analogy between how you apply an IP address on, a, on your home PC, which I want you guys to do with me, and how we're going to apply an IP address on this router. I'm going to show you that it is almost, if not as easy, as doing it on a Windows-based GUI. Okay, so what is a GUI? Well, let's have a look at what a GUI looks like. If you just click on your Start buttons for me, guys, click on Start, go into Control Panel. This is a GUI, isn't it? You can basically see all the little... Um, icons, I can configure my um, battery, or I can see my battery settings, I can certainly set my email up, uh, change some settings on my mouse, um, have a look at my Windows firewall. So this really is what, what we call a GUI, it's a graphic user interface. Now a router doesn't have a GUI, you just see text, but it does have a control panel, and I want to show you what that control panel looks like. In fact, we are in it right now. Where you see the word config, that means I am now in this device's control panel. If I were to push the question mark like I showed you earlier, these are all the things I can do to this router. These are all the options I have, exactly the same as on my Windows PC. Here's all the options on my Windows PC that I can configure. Here's all the options on my router that I can configure. Okay, so it's nothing to be afraid of, and I'm going to show you. We're going to follow the analogy, and let's do an IP address on your PC. So in the control panel on your PC, hopefully you would know that an IP belongs to a network interface, so we need to find... Um, how we configure the network interfaces for my control panel and because Windows is so easy we simply look at network connections and we double click on that and it will show us all our um, interface cards uh, that we can configure on this PC so I'll have some wireless ones uh, my wireless network um, I've got a local area network which is, a, which is unplugged and I've got some loopbacks that I use for testing so let's just say for argument's sake um, I'm just going to pick any old one um, although this one is disabled I'm just going to right click on it anyway go properties um, and another window is going to open. Once this window's windows um, open, um, I can basically now have a look at it and go, well, how do I configure this now? Mm, I don't really know, but I'm going to guess that um, an IP address will be relating to TCP IP. So you click on properties from there, and another window opens, and finally you get to insert your IP address. Oh, obviously we can't use zero. Um, 
I'm just trying to highlight those numbers for you. Uh, finally, you get to configure your IP address. You can get one from a server, so we can change the settings and say, go get this for me automatically, or I can put it in manually. And when I put it in manually, I just need to type in the address. Oh. I just need to type in the address in um, in those windows, followed by a subnet mask. Now, a subnet mask, um, we, won't, we aren't going to go into that into this in um, this series of videos. We'll cover that in another series. But every time you enter an IP address, you must follow it up with a subnet mask. Okay, so that's Windows, and you can basically see that if you have some basic, basic, basic um, IT skills, you should almost be able to, you know, follow your nose and configure your Windows PC as per your requirement or um, as per your settings that you need to do to make it work. Okay, so now I'm going to show you in the next video how easy it is to do on a router. I'm going to show you that this command line has its own GUI. Yes, it's not graphics based, so you can't really call it a GUI, but it has its own text based. Um, menu system or slash um, user interface that um, as long as you know where you need to be where you need to start in this instance you need to start in the control panel by pushing the question mark you can see all the things that you can configure in other words you will you will see an option in here that will allow you to configure uh, the interfaces and then you'll see another option that will allow you to configure the IP addresses so have a look at the next video um, and we'll show you um, how to do that from there I'd like to thank you for your time and sincerely hope you choose the learning net as your IT training center of choice thank you